Let us go straight to look at the structure of a municipality in details. Let us look at the structure of a municipality. The structure of a municipality. Now, um, uh, before looking at the structure of a municipality, we should get to know about uh, we should get to know about the three levels of governance in a country, uh, which are uh, we have the national uh, the national government, we have the provincial government, and also we have the local government. So uh, because a municipality or because municipalities fall under the local government, so we need to look at the structure of the layout of administration at different levels in a given municipality or in a municipality. So for this case, therefore, each and every municipality must have the three systems of governance, which are executive, judiciary, and legislature. So does this structure of a municipality tries to explain properly each level of a municipality and the respective levels of or and administrative or and the respective administrator who are in charge of different divisions to ensure efficient, effective, and also accountable plus economical um, uh, service delivered. So um, above, above the municipal administration here, we have what we call the town or the town or the municipal council. We have the town or the municipal we have the town hall, the municipal council. This municipal council, below the municipal council, there is another institution here. This institution works hand in hand with the municipal council, and in most cases, it is this municipal council that is in charge of appointing this. It is the mayor. Sometimes this is sometimes the mayor becomes the mayor. And it's the mayor and executive committee. Yes, we have the mayor and executive committee. These are appointed by the municipal or the town council and they are directly answerable to the municipal council. Therefore, or sometimes we call, we call this institution as the mayor committee. Sometimes we call this institution as the mayoral committee. This mayoral committee, the mayor and the executive committee, they are all appointed by the municipal council and therefore they are directly answerable to the municipal council. Now, after, um, after this institution, there is another institution down here. And this institution that we find after the mayoral committee is where this is where we find the municipal manager. This is where we find the municipal manager. This municipal manager is appointed uh, by the mayor or the executive committee or the mayoral committee, and therefore he or she is directly answerable to the mayoral committee. Therefore, you see. So after that, there are some other institutions down here under the municipal manager and there are many they are composed of uh, various heads of departments who are in charge of overseeing whichever activities which are being done in the form of rendering services to the people on the local ground so somewhere here uh, we have the heads of departments whereby here we have the head of utility department, the head of the utility department. We have another HOD here, the head of, um, here the head of uh, Tariff. We have the head of Tariff. After that, we have another department somewhere here, as uh, this department, we are um, is undertake it, it is take, it's, it's being regulated by the head and this is the head of recreation yes head of recreation
investigation. There is also another department somewhere here under the leadership of the head of public works. Under the leadership of the head of public works, of public works. And then lastly, we have another department somewhere here under leadership of the head of department of that leader of that department. And this one is in charge of um, security services or protection services. You can see this is in charge of security or protection services in the municipality. Or protection services in the municipality. So this is an outline of the structure of a municipality, how it's supposed to be. So there are this institution is therefore at all levels of governance in this. This institution is we are um, include the three systems of governance in a municipality whereby there is one which is in charge of executive, judiciary and legislature, but however significantly what we are seeing now here, there is um, when you look at the municipal council, the municipal council is in charge of appointing other two uh, institutions, legislative, uh, legislative institutions, whereby uh, the municipal council is the one which is in charge of appointing what we call the legislative authority, is the one which is in charge of appointing what we call the legislative authority. This legislative authority is in charge of making bylaws. Is in charge of making bylaws in a municipality. So this is the legislative, the legislative authority in a municipality which is appointed directly by the municipal or the town council. And its major role is to make sure that they sit and make the bylaws. And then these two institutions here, whereby uh, uh, where we find the mayor and the mayor committee plus the municipal manager. This is where uh, <coughs> this is where we find now the executive uh, the, the executive authority of the municipality. This is where we find the executive authority of the municipality. Their major role, their major role of yes. The major role of this executive authority in a municipality is to make sure that virus is to ensure that is to ensure that virus are carried out. Is to ensure that virus are carried out. Yes, is to ensure that virus are carried out. Now, away from that, um, this municipal council is in charge of especially appointing two uh, two significant institutions, whereby the first one is the legislative, the legislative authority that is in charge of making bylaws, and the second one, this is where we find what we call the this is where we find what we call the committees, the, the municipal committees. These municipal committees are in charge of, for example, planning, drawing up plans. They are in charge of, uh, they are in charge of making a forum on the municipal finances. They are in charge of making policy recommendations. They are in charge of making policy recommendations and, and so many other. Now, apart from apart from these these various uh, departments, which are which are directly supervised by the municipal manager. We see that there are some other departments which are directly, uh, uh, which are directly uh, supervised by the municipal manager and therefore there has to be a very good relationship between the municipal manager together with his committee and also the public. That's why we have, apart from these departments, we have several other departments, for example, the Department of the Human Resource, and also the Department of the Public uh, Relations and so many others. Now, um, we have known 
we have known uh, we have known and we can now uh, come up with the, the summarized structure of how the municipality should look at by considering what you see from the board here. Now, you remember um, these, these heads of departments are directly answerable to the municipal manager, and um, the municipal manager is directly answerable to the mayoral committee, and the mayoral committee is directly answerable to the municipal or to the municipal council, like that. Remember, the municipal, all these are under the municipal council matters. There are other committees which are uh, which are put on different levels of administration to work hand in hand with the municipal council to make sure that the service, the municipal services, are delivered to the people in an effective and efficient way, and also uh, this council gets feedback from all these levels on uh, trying to make a fora on the services delivered to, to, to the public from, from the top to the lower level. Yes, like that. Now, away from that, let us look at the legislative functions. Let us look at the legislative functions of the municipality. Um, I want to clear here because I'm still uh, based on the, on the other part. As I'm explaining, let us look at the legislative functions of, of, of the municipality. The legislative functions of the municipality. The legislative functions of the municipality. Now, uh, by looking at the legislative function of the municipality, as we have seen here, that the legislative function of the municipality, the chief function of the legislature in a municipality is to make bylaws. However, we are going to look at several other functions that are performed by uh, this department, by the legislature as an organ out of the, 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 the three organs. So, however, the legislative function of a municipality is the responsibility. It's very crucial to, to note this that the legislative function of a municipality is the responsibility of the town council and also the municipal committees. You see, because they are all answerable to the municipal council. So, the legislative function of a municipality there is the responsibility of both the municipal council and the municipal committees to make sure that they perform the following roles. One, uh, one is uh, to make bylaws, as we have seen there. One is to, one is to make bylaws. One is to make bylaws uh, in consultation make bylaws, we make bylaws in consultation with the public, in consultation with the public to find out how these bylaws affect the public. Are they fully to affect the public um, uh, uh, positively or negatively? So they need to consult the public on, uh, to determine finally how these bylaws are people in within a municipality. They need to, to determine two is to determine the policy. Two is to determine the policy. Three to adopt budget. To adopt the budget. Three is to adopt the budget. Then four to determine for is to determine the fees and tariff to determine the fees and tariff structure yes to determine the fees and tariff structures for services 
of 4 and x plus 1 is 6 and other case. Now, these bylaws are formulated especially by drawing them from the policy. Now, determining the policy is a very important issue here and it, it is done specifically by the legislative organ of the municipality and the, this policy that is determined uh, by this legislative uh, uh, organ of the municipality should be determined in such a way that it is in line with the other two uh, higher institutions of governance in the country, which are the national legislation and also the provincial legislation, so that they are all in line up to when they reach the municipalities or the municipality in the local government. And also, to adopt the budget, but it's very important here that the legislation uh, that the budget is adopted by referring the legislative organ within a municipality. And this budget should be adopted in consultation with people in the public to find out how best services will be delivered by not leaving out some members, um, some members lacking adequacy of the services being rendered. So remember, adopting a budget this is within uh, the IDP programs. This is within the inter. This is within the integrated development programs. To make sure that there is proper budgeting and planning for the people to ensure efficient, accountable, um, economical, and effective delivery of services, so that no one is affected by by inadequacy of services, and also. It's the function of the legislature within a municipality to make sure that uh, they determine the fees and also the tariffs. That they determine the fees and also the tariff structures. Yes, the fees and also the tariff structures for services. Remember, we are going to look at characteristics of services which are which should be uh, rendered to the people in their areas of influence, and we shall see that. Without enough finances uh, by municipality, services cannot be rendered. Because services to be rendered, there is a need for enough, enough finance that should be budgeted and uh, that should be budgeted to go to each one of these departments so that people acquire all the services that they need. Um, after that, let us look at uh, the executive now. This has been the legislative. Let us look at the legislative as we have pointed them out here. We said the legislative uh, function of the municipality is the responsibility of the municipal council and also the municipal committees to make sure that we perform all these duties. Now, what about the executive? What about the executive? Let us just say the executive functions. Let us look at the executive functions of a municipality. Now, unlike the legislative, which is the responsibility of the municipal council and also the municipal committees, the executive function of a municipality, however, you can see, you can see these two institutions here. The executive function of a municipality, however, is the responsibility of two parts uh, of two institutions here, whereby the executive function of the municipality, as we are going to see there, is the responsibility of the mayor, is the responsibility of the mayor, the executive committee, and also the municipal, the municipal manager. Yes. So, uh, to ensure that um, services are provided adequately to the people by considering their needs, and also by considering their needs and interests. It should be a responsibility of the executive organ to make sure that they get in touch very well, um, very well by considering a union of the mayor's efforts together with his committee, the executive committee, and also the municipal manager, so that services are rendered adequately so, 
these, these three institutions, the mayor, his executive committee, and also the municipal manager, perform the following activities or perform the following functions under the executive function. One, uh, they offer, one is they offer effective, they offer effective, comma, efficient, comma, accountable, accountable, and economical, and economical administration. I should start like that. So those three institutions under the creative function is they offer um, effective, efficient, economical, and accountable administration. Then another one is the, they they administer. They administer in accordance. They administer in accordance to the municipal. They administer in accordance to the municipal systems act. Yes, like that. Another one is uh, this is uh, the executive function. The executive organ is in charge of um, is in charge of employing employing staff members, employing staff, employing staff members, especially by considering the Employment Equity Act. That by considering the Employment. Equity Act. This Act is five five of nineteen ninety eight. Like that, they initiate the IDPs. They initiate the IDPs. They initiate the IDPs. They also monitor. They monitor the staff members. This screen. They monitor the staff members. This screen. And also, they train staff members. They train staff, staff members. So these are some of the functions of the municipal. Uh, the functions of the these are some of the executive functions of the municipality. We said IDPs. These are the uh, the integrated development programs. These these two or uh, these encompass or these include two significant activities which should be performed perfectly by, by making sure that there is accuracy and also accountability. There is planning and also budgeting here. So this should be done in the consultation of the public so that they cater for the interests and desires of everyone in the communities. Lastly, let us look at um, let us look at the characteristics. Let us look at the characteristics of the services rendered in municipalities. Let us look at the characteristics of services. I'm sure start like that. Characteristics of services rendered in municipalities. Characteristics of services rendered. Now, the constitution together with the Municipal Systems Act, they all prescribe, this, those two institutions all prescribe the following characteristics that municipal services should bear, make sure that they cater for, the, for each one's interests and desires within the community and their areas of jurisdiction. One, um, we should get to know that the municipal services are rendered on the local ground. Services are rendered on the local ground. Services are, rend are rendered on the local ground. That is one. Two is services. Uh, services are rendered. Aiming at, aiming at improving welfare. Aiming at improving welfare of people in a community. I'll 
or so. Um, services, services rendered, determine. Services rendered determine the development of a municipality at large. Services rendered determine the the development of municipality at large and also people's interests people's interests people's interests and desires determine determine the services to be determine the services to be rendered uh, the councillors, they are so many. The municipal councillors should find out. Should find out the interests. Should find out the interests and desires of the people in the communities and also. People in communities, people in communities should should make uh, should make their interests clear and known by the municipal administrators. Some of them are here, however, there are so many. But uh, I'm trying to to work out within the interests of the time because time is not our best time here but uh, the services rendered on the local ground uh, should be uh, the services in the, in the municipalities are rendered on the, on, the, on the local ground this explains further why different municipalities uh, render different services so services are rendered on the local ground by considering the current interests and desires of the people in their areas of influence here. So, may find, so you may find people in municipality A having different interests totally compared to the people in municipality B. So that's why services are always rendered uh, on the local ground by considering exactly the local interests by, by, by considering exactly the interests of the local people in that particular municipality. Then services are rendered aiding at improving the welfare of the people. This is done always by making sure that the budget which is drawn, which we say the budget, the budget being drawn in consultation with the public, is done by considering that this budget caters for both the long term and short term levels of development in a municipality, or to cater for the well being and welfare of the people. Services are rendered determine the development. It's very vital that services are, it's, vital, it's very important services to be rendered to all people equally in a municipality because these services rendered determine the level of development of, uh, of, the, of the municipality in totality. And then people's interests determine and so many others. Thank you so much, members. Once again, I'm, 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 I'm Michael. Um, and uh, for reference, in need of any reference, and also in need of any interaction further, um, you can contact. You can contact me. This is my name. You can contact me on zero seven one seven twenty fifty eighty one. In case of any question in case of any question. Thank you so much. May the good Lord uh, bless you.